have added 50% glycerol to any unused wells. Now we will load the chip. We have our sample combined with our gem master mix on ice. We also have our gel beads, which have been equilibrated to room temperature for at least 30 minutes. And we have our partitioning oil. We are ready to load the chip. For gem generation, load the indicated reagents only in the specified rows, starting from the row labeled 1, followed by rows labeled 2 and 3. Do not load reagents in the bottom row labeled No Fill. Next, we will prepare the gel beads. Snap the tube strip holder with the gel bead strip into a 10x vortex adapter. Vortex for 30 seconds. Centrifuge the gel bead strip for approximately 5 seconds. Confirm there are no bubbles at the bottom of the tubes and the liquid levels are even. Place the gel bead strip back in the holder and secure the holder lid. With the pipette set to 70 microliters, gently pipette mix the gem master mix and sample 15 times. Using the same pipette tips, we dispense 70 microliters into the bottom center of the wells in the row labeled 1 without introducing bubbles. When loading the chip, raising and depressing the pipette plunger should each take approximately 5 seconds. When dispensing, raise the pipette tips at the same rate as the liquid is rising, keeping the tips slightly submerged. Next we will load the gel beads. Puncture the foil seal of the gel bead tubes. Slowly aspirate 50 microliters of gel beads. Dispense into the wells in the row labeled 2 without introducing bubbles. Wait 60 seconds. Finally, we add 45 microliters of partitioning oil into the wells in the row labeled 3 from a reagent reservoir. Failure to add partitioning oil to the top row labeled 3 will prevent gem generation and can damage the chromium instrument. Close the secondary holder lid and immediately run the chip in the chromium instrument. At this point, do not tip the chip and do not press down on the gasket. The chip has been loaded. Next, we will run the chip in the chromium instrument.